So ain't nothing wrong with me, facts. Everybody else will be coming like on that time. They ain't got no motion. They broke, they hurt, they they sent on or they trying to come into a life some kind of way. Y'all just be caring about whatever is the next trending thing. Y'all emotions are like that's 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 insane. Like it would be very irresponsible for me to be like, oh my god, Kodak Black, oh my god. But then go listen to his album and that's all he referenced. Kodak Black. We all know Kodak Black, right? He went on Kai's in that stream. Hey, look at yeah. it, say, respect. respect, respect. Oh, my bad, but I just spit on you. Huh? Oh, oh sweetie. Oh. Sweetie. He was doing crazy stuff. Go ahead and cook, yeah, go ahead and cook. Yeah. Over. Yes. I need my nails nah, clip. And I need my nails clip. Yeah. And I need my nails clip. And over. What was that? And everybody's like, oh my god. He really do do the stuff that he say in his music. I'm concerned. Can you say that you're a fan of an artist if you really don't know that they live the life that they portray? Like, I wasn't shocked by him doing that on Kai's stream. Why are y'all shocked? Not to make it seem like I don't have any empathy or compassion for Kodak Black. I, I don't want nobody doing perks. Nobody wants people doing perks. But if a person is pitting that they're gonna hurt themselves in music and then they hurt themselves in reality why are we surprised how can you say that you're a fan of a person if when they show you who they are shocking when y'all was just listening to his music him saying he a perk demon pop a perk he don't care if it's fake y'all was dancing to it on a TikTok trending. I don't get it. I, I don't like when people fake care about stuff. Like y'all caring about this man because he had to do that. Like if he didn't go, go to Casanet's 30 day stream that is a forever stream. I think he was there for like two hours or an hour. I don't know how long he was there for. All I'm saying is that Kodak Black had to literally leave his home, go to the most viral stream in the world and do what he did. Like y'all don't think that he has some control over that or he didn't just do that to lighten the stream up not saying that he doesn't really go through drug abuse there's many videos i watched the video it said he was taking a hundred perks a day bro at least a hundred perks but my average is 40 perks says bro he really lives this life that he portrays in his music i'm not shocked because i understand that he's who he is in his music how can you say that you're a fan? I'm more of a fan if I can grasp the reality of him and not be shocked because he's living in his truth. He been doing this for years. Yes, Kodak, you need help. This video has nothing to do with weed. Pills, on the other hand, are killing, are killing people. No one has ever died from marijuana. They died from tobacco. Now in the backwoods, in the fontos, in a blackout that you roll up with might kill you. But no one ever died from weed. People are dying from fake perks. People are dying from fentanyl banning perks. So I just don't see how you can say that you're a Kodak fan and be shocked by him showing you himself. But I hope that Kodak gets help, man. I really do. I hope that anybody gets help with substance abuse. It's hard, bro. It's hard. It's very hard, especially dealing with the things that are in your mind all by yourself. It's tough. And we men, so we really burden a lot of stuff. It's probably stuff that he got on his shoulders that he never even wanted, you know? So hope you get some help, Kodak, for real. From a perspective of, I'm not shocked by this. I can't be. This is who he is. I just hope he gets some help. It's your boy, Genius Me. You gotta keep it real, bro. Cause if in my music, I'm saying that I'm gonna hurt myself and I do it and you didn't care, you jamming this number one song 
Oh, he gonna hurt himself. He gonna hurt himself. And then he actually hurt himself, and you're like, oh, it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. You, you should have cared the minute he dropped that, uh, the minute you heard that lyric, you should have made a video, tweeted something, something. Like, that's when you should have cared. Don't care when it's put right in front of you. It's already too late. That's my perspective on it, on this whole Kodak Black thing. People are caring about, people be just waking up having different things to care about. Like, what he's going through has been existing throughout a lot of his music. Like, I'm so confused on why y'all... I just don't understand how y'all can really be that shot. It's your boy, James Me. You gotta keep it real, man.